Hi again, YouTubers. So it has been requested by quite a few people for me to mention how I clean my brushes with rubbing alcohol. Um, and Goss Makeup Artist had done a video on this, but I'm just gonna kind of go through and tell you a little bit about what I do and how I use this. Um, I tend to pick up 91% rubbing alcohol. Um, this one is by a company called Care One. I think I get it at Walgreens or like Stop and Shop maybe, I don't even know. And the reason I like this one is because this one actually has a squirt top to it, which makes it very easy and it's a large size bottle. It is 32 ounces, so it lasts me a good amount of time. Um, I have an old, I don't even know what this is from, honestly. I guess it's like a little measuring cup type of thing. I don't even remember what it's from, honestly. And then I also have an old towel. And this towel, as you can see, has been stained like crazy. But it is, it's a rough towel. It's not a soft towel. It's almost like a kitchen towel type of thing. It's not like a soft like towel like this, like that you would use in your bathroom. It is definitely a rougher type of towel and I think that really makes the difference. So what I tend to do is I take the rubbing alcohol and my little thing here and I squirt some into it, generally up to, can you see that little line right there? I tend to go up to that line. Oops, I was getting ready to put it away. I'm so used to putting it away. I take my brushes and I run the brushes into the product and it kind of soaks up a good amount of the product, but I kind of, you'll see it change colors too, especially if you have foundation or like mineral powders or something. So I rub this in and you can see, I've sent this to the dishwasher and even this little thing is stained, but I kind of rub it around until it's absorbed most of the rubbing alcohol. Then I take the brush and I simply go back and forth on this towel that has a good amount of texture to it. And as I said, is rough. And I think the roughness helps pull the makeup out of the brush a little bit better. Now the keys of why you want to, or why you can use rubbing alcohol is one, is the fact that it kills off any germs on the makeup brushes. Two, it also is very fast drying. So you don't have to sit here and wait for your brushes to dry or anything like that. It dries very, very quickly. Um, I tend to like do a brush and I would say in about, like a thick brush like this, like a foundation type brush, it would be dry probably in about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, eye brushes are dry almost instantly. Um, but it is a very easy concept for cleaning your brushes, spot cleaning them. I do still deep clean my brushes. I deep clean my brushes about once a month. Um, and I do that with the ones that I use the most frequently. I have a little container on my vanity of my most used brushes. And then I have areas that have additional brushes in them. And before it goes into those areas, kind of, I make sure I deep clean my brushes before they go into the like reserve area. So um, this is a very, very easy, easy way of doing this. As you can see by this towel, it's been through the wash. Um, it just went through the other day but this is what I just pulled off of this brush right up here, um, is it stains these towels. So make sure this is not a good towel you're using for this. I'm assuming you could use paper towels, but I prefer to use something like this that I can just wash and reuse and keep with me. Um, but make sure that it is definitely something that has a good texture to it. So it's a pretty quick and easy concept. It's pretty easy to do, um, but I know a lot of people were asking how I did this. Um, the only downside sometimes is um, People have mentioned to me, if you see the bottom of my brush, this is the only brush that this has happened to. I have other Real Technique brushes that this has not happened with, but someone said to me that the reason this is happening is because of the rubbing alcohol and it kind of runs down. I haven't had any issues with it. I've not had any issues with my ferrules, the glue loosening. I've not had any issues um, with this as a cleaning concept. It has worked great for me. And as I said, it kills off the bacteria, which is amazing. Um, I found the 70, I think, percent rubbing alcohol didn't really work for me. It took longer to dry. It didn't get the color off of these brushes as easily. And the 99% really didn't do anything for me either. So um, that is my cleaning brushes with rubbing alcohol. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.